Nearly a week after the deadly Tonga volcano eruption, a Sacramento family is still waiting to hear from family members there, including a baby girl. Thanks so much for staying with us at 5 30. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Adrian Moore. Our news is also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento. News out of Tonga has been scarce after the lone undersea cable connecting Tonga to the rest of the world snapped in that eruption. So far, only three deaths have been reported. Planes carrying humanitarian aid just started arriving there yesterday, and what little news has come out has been from the few people with satellite phones there. And as we said, a local family is still waiting to hear from their relatives in Tonga. We are joined now by father and son, Penny and Perry. Tatafu, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. You haven't been able to reach any of your family members. This is such a stressful time, we can only imagine. Can you tell us a little bit about who is out there? It's uh, my sister and my brothers and, and relatives and other family. And tell us, how did you first learn about the eruption, and uh, what has it been like since you first got word of that? I guess I just heard on the, uh, uh, some of the call from uh, Tonga before the, the, everything was cut out. It, and we know so many people are trying to use their satellite phones out there. Yeah. Do you, does yes. your family actually have a satellite phone? Uh, no. How are you following what is going on there in Tonga right now? Well, the only thing we got uh, going on is uh, through social media. We just got other families and friends who are uh, uh, just writing us through Facebook and just pretty much just kind of updating us to what's going on. So pretty much we don't have any kind of uh, communication with them yet but well, we're still waiting for um, satellite and everything to go back to normal so we can be able to communicate with them tell us a little bit more about your family there uh, what would you like people to know about them what kind of people they are and and your connections with them uh, so for me uh, my wife and my daughter is there I have a one-year-old uh, daughter and who I haven't seen or held uh, since she was born. And so I just uh, video call with her on social media to talk to her every now and then, as well as my wife. Um, I have, haven't been able to uh, be there physically for my wife. And it's, with this uh, going on in Tonga, it's been kind of uh, hard and uh, tough for not only us, but I'm, I'm sure everyone else, every Tongan out there and here in the States. I think hard is an understatement. A highly emotional time, I would imagine. What is your plan right now, uh, moving forward, and in, in trying to get more information and reaching your family? Uh, well, first things first. Uh, we're gonna try to send out um, food and water, and try to su supply them with all, everything that they need. Um, uh, so yeah, we just gotta keep working and trying to. Um, save enough to help them back home. And you said you've been corresponding with people at least via social media to some degree. What kind of information have you been able to to get from that at least as far as, as the state of things there in Tonga? Well, uh, right now, the uh, uh, network there is, is um, it's pretty bad. It's only running off of 2G and everyone here is trying to get hold of everyone back home so um, for me at least it's been a week I haven't talked to my wife and my daughter and it's, uh, it's been uh, really stressful lately I haven't been able to talk and hear from them see how they're doing so I guess we just got to wait and try to see if uh, wait until networks and stuff gets back up and running like how it was, like how it was before yeah well wow. Our thoughts will certainly be with you both and your family in the days ahead, and we certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk with us this afternoon. We wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.